Hello viewer, welcome to my channel. This is my fifth tutorial on Jamarin. In my next four videos, I will show how we can save, get, edit and delete data from local database using Xamarin. In this video, I am going to show how we can save data into local database using Xamarin. So it will be the output of my today's video. When I click on add company button, here I'm giving company name, which is company A, address, address 001, save. Company A is saved. Company B, address 002. So let's see how we can do it using Xamarin. First, we need to add SQLite package into our project, both in Android and iOS. Right click, add, manage package. SQLite net PCL. This one. By Frank. Stop. Now add same package in iOS. Okay, done. Now I'm going to take a company model. ID, which is primary key. name address set id as primary key Okay, done. Let's take some view. One is for home page. Make this home page as startup page or main page. And I am going to use navigation page, which I already described in my previous videos. In home page, I am going to take one button. Title. Select option stack layout button text and company. Click double tab 
and then push this button into stack layout. Now content equal stack layout. When I click on this button, then it will open another page which is add company page. So let's take another page. Add company page. Make it async. Await navigation push async now go to add company page here i'm gonna take two entry field and one button one is for name one is for address and button is for save name entry address entry Save button. Paste title at company. Select layout. Keyboard text placeholder company name children at done. Same as for address entry. Save button. Text. Add. Click plus equal double tap. Content equal stack layout. Now I am gonna take a DB path of my local database. And the procedure is path dot combined system dot environment get folder path. System dot environment dot special folder dot personal and my DV name 
dot free. Okay. Now I'm gonna save my companies into this database. So make it async. new sq light connection my db path db dot create table which is company max primary key db table select company table order by descending id first or default if max pk equal null means table has no data then primary key will be one otherwise max primary key plus one name name entry dot text same as address address entry dot text now i am going to insert this company into database table so db dot insert company after save, it will show a display alert. Display alert. Title null. Name. Saved. Okay. After click on OK button, it will back to home page. So navigation pop async. Let's run our project. Okay. Now click on add company, give a company name, say company A, address is address 001, click on add button, company A saved, okay. I'm gonna add another company, say company B, address 002, okay, company B saved, okay. So done. In my next video, I'm going to show how we can get the list of companies that I already saved into my database. So please subscribe my channel for next video tutorials. And if you like this video, then please like, comment and share. Thank you.